Hey guys, it's Miranda. Um, so today I'm going to tell you why I decided to move to Costa Rica. So this decision came at the end of my senior year. I decided I wanted to move to a Spanish speaking country. Um, well, back up. I studied psychology with a minor in Spanish and I wanted to take a year off before going to get my master's or my PhD. And I decided to go to a Spanish speaking country so I could practice Spanish. And to do that, I needed a way to make money. So I decided I would teach English. So in order to teach English, you have to get something called a TEFL or T-E-F-L certification. Um, and that stands for teaching English as a foreign language. Um, so the course I took, I will actually drop the link to if anyone's interested. Um, it's a really good course. Okay, so I did the course online um, my final semester of university um, on top of my other classes and finished it, did my practicum at the local elementary school, actually where my nephews go to school. Um, and it was just really fun. I really enjoy teaching English and I had decided to move to Costa Rica. So with the school that I got my program from, they have job boards um, and like groups per country, depending on where you want to go. And so I joined the um, alumni board for Costa Rica and I posted that I was, you know, looking to move. Um, and then a company reached out to me and was like, hey, we're hiring, you know, if you're interested, submit your resume and we'll do an interview and so I did that and they were like yeah we think you'll be a great teacher blah 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 so I got hired and after getting hired with this company um, I just started looking for places to live they had told me that most of the um, businesses we teach at are in you know San Jose area area and so I decided that I would live in San Pedro, which is very close to San Jose. Um, I found an Airbnb that I stayed in for three weeks. And it was um, about like $350 for three weeks. So I was like, well, it's not bad. It was a great location. The family that I lived with were so amazing, so helpful with everything. Um, and it was just great. And then I... Through talking to some of my new co-workers I ended up finding the apartment that I'm at now which you can see the apartment tour in the previous video I've posted um, and I love it so yeah that's just the quick summary of how I came to Costa Rica um, but the reason I chose Costa Rica in general was well a I found a job um, I also took a quiz that was like what you know, country should you live in abroad? And the quiz gave me Costa Rica, so that's why I actually started doing the research on it. Um, originally, I was looking at Colombia, um, but my parents were like, oh, I don't know if that's super safe, you know, because everyone still thinks like Pablo Escobar and all that when they think Colombia for some reason. Um, and I looked at Nicaragua, but just, you know, for general, comfortability comfortability is that a word <laughs> um i just decided to like costa rica would be good and safe and easy access flights were cheap to and from and then the biggest thing for me was that costa rica has a lot of policies that are very eco-friendly so if you know me you know i'm eco-friendly to the point where it's annoying to most of my family and friends um, I hate single-use plastic. I try to be as, you know, eco-friendly as I can be. I would like to be full zero waste, um, but it's still kind of difficult because, you know, you kind of have to have a little bit of money to get started being full zero waste. It's harder when you're on a budget. Um, but yeah, so there's like a lot of the energy here is renewable. You can see the windmills from certain parts of the country. Um, recycling is a big thing. The companies actually here are more responsible for, you know, the waste that they produce. Whereas in the States, it's on the consumer. But yeah, so 
that's why I decided to move to Costa Rica. Um, I've been home to visit. I've been here nine months now, almost. Um, I've been home to visit three, three times. Um, once for homecoming, once for Christmas, and once for my dad's birthday. And right now, we have the COVID-19 situation going on globally. I'm still in Costa Rica. Um, so hopefully I'll get to come home and visit everyone soon. But um, I still love it here. It's great. If you ever want to visit, let me know. You know, post-global pandemic. Um, and I'll help you plan your trip. Um, if you have any questions about moving to Costa Rica, about teaching English abroad, let me know. And I am more than happy to help. Just comment below. Um, please like and subscribe. And again, ask me anything.